What's up guys, welcome to your 75th Android tutorial for the new boss and again with me Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically um, do some simple animation to get that ball kind of shooting in the direction that we want. Um, and obviously if you guys have done Java programming before or any kind of game programming, you're probably going to look at these this tutorial in the next one and be like, what is he doing? This it is because what I am going to do um, is probably terrible programming but it's I'm trying to teach you guys the concepts and what you guys need to learn for this um, obviously I'm probably gonna create some kind of a game development uh, series on my on my on my channel at uh, my bring back so you guys can subscribe and look forward to that um, but you know for this for this new Boston series that I'm doing uh, probably won't get too much into the animation I just kinda wanna show you what's up so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create some more floats we're gonna call one DX and dy for change in x and change in y direction and then we're also going to create one called animate x and animate or animate y and then we're also going to create one more called scaled x and scaled y so a lot more a lot new very a lot uh, a lot of variables there and now let's set them all up to be equal to zero at the beginning so we're just gonna say dy equals uh, d or I'm sorry dx equals dy equals so what I did is just clip the video save some time but basically I just said dx equals dy equals um, you know Anna X Anna Y scaled X scaled Y and they all are equal to zero it's kinda of setting them all equal to zero to start with um, which is good so now what we're going to do is we're basically going to go into our, um, you know, our up uh, motion event right here and set up our changes or dx and our dy. So our dx is going to be the change in the x direction. So what we're going to say is our final x minus our starting x, and that'll give us the change in the x direction. And then we're also going to say dy is equal to our final y and our uh, minus our starting y and let's say our, you know our screens 400 or 800 pixels by 800 pixels basically this change in x could be up to 800 or, you know up to quite a few uh, pixels like a thousand or something like that I don't know the math exactly but so we don't want it to be that big so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda scale it down so we're just gonna say our scaled x is equal to our dx uh, divided by like let's just do 30 and see how that works and we're also going to say our scaled y is equal to our dy divided by 30 and there we go we kind of have our scaled variable set up now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go into our actual animation and so what we're going to just quickly do is we're going to copy the one that prints the ball, which was our test, is what we, uh, um, what is what we defined there. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to paste it when, you know, our finals don't equal anything. So we're going to paste that above our x. Or actually, let's do it below our x, um, or a plus symbol there. And there we go. Now we're going to print a ball again, just centered. Um, everything is pretty much the same as how we printed it here but now it's just going to print when it's uh, finalized and what we're going to say is we're going to say minus now our Anna X um, which is going to be our skit did we set that up yet no okay basically this is going to be our animated X how much it's going to change each time in each direction so we'll get to what that actually is set to here in a second but we're also going to set this equal to Anna Y and now we just need to set up these variables and as you can see right now this is equal to zero because that's what we set it up to be on create so after it runs through here we're gonna change it a little bit um, after you know this if statement and we're gonna change that value and so what we're gonna say is we're gonna say anti x equals anti x plus our scaled x so again, our scaled x is equal to, you know, our displacement in the x direction divided by 30. So this would be, you know, 
that and then it's gonna every time it loops through it's gonna add more to this X direction which is gonna affect you know where we paint on our canvas for a bitmap I don't know if that made quite sense or not or if this is making sense at all especially um, you know probably isn't but uh, hopefully you guys kind of are picking up on some stuff especially the new programmers this is kind of how you do the animation not necessarily um, generally you'd want to have some kind of framework that handles all your animations for you but like I said I just wanted to show you guys a quick animation so we aren't quite done um, let's just run it and see what it looks like obviously there's going to be quite a few things that we still need to do and we'll finish up in the next tutorial but we kind of got the basics down um, very very basic stuff so we're going to click and we're going to like let go here and there we go our ball shoots off in that direction obviously we still have this printed ball so we're going to get rid of that and let's try again that time it it's not shooting uh, what's going on that, those are kind of the areas that we're gonna fix in the next tutorial so I'll catch you guys then and have a good one